Hey, what's up guys? Grand the Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey break today. Guys, a fun one, I hope, indeed. This is going to be a Turn Back Tuesday break. That's right, because we are turning things back all the way to 2014-15 Upper Deck Series 1. That's right, we got a sealed hobby box right there. And I know I'm probably throwing you guys for a loop with the background card today. I only got one card up, but there's a reason for that, guys. That card is obviously Connor McDavid from 1516 Upper Deck Series 1. That is his PSA 10 Young Guns. I have him on display because I am hunting his teammate, his good friend. And I'm hoping that he can give us some luck here, Connor Mac, because I do not have one of these yet. I am looking to pull the Leon Dreisaitl Young Guns rookie card out of this box, I hope, today, guys. Um, there are some other huge Young Guns in here, though, don't get me wrong, but I want the Dreisaitl. But, uh, you know, you can get Johnny Hockey, Johnny Gaudreau is in here, William Carlson. Um, Evgeny Kuznetsov is in here as well, I believe. Uh, as well as a few other definitely prominent names. Um, so we are going to bust into that and see what is up. I will also give you guys a quick little peek at uh, something I have here. Um, because I'm saving this for a rainy day. We're going to do this break on here, though, guys. 1415 Series 1, you can buy that and find it. 1415 Series 2. Almost impossible. You just can't find the stuff. It is it is just insanely hard to find um, this stuff. And I do have, see it for yourselves, a sealed tin of 1415 Upper Deck Series 2. That's right. we got a sealed collector's tin. That's right. And believe it or not, guys, I don't have it in front of me here right now. But I also have a 1415 Upper Deck Series 2 sealed blaster box. So we do have a couple of 1415 Upper Deck Series 2 stuff, where we are looking primarily for the Pasta Man, David Pasternak. His uh, young guns are in this insane uh, product and stuff, which is just so hard to find right now. But I just want to show you guys that because it is so cool, and I'm looking forward to breaking that on here. But yeah, guys, let's do the 14-15. Uh, the let's just bust into this, see what we get. Again, this is a hobby box, so, uh, you know, the odds at the hobby exclusive stuff is definitely there. That's why it's worth buying hobby boxes um, and this kind of stuff. You can get young guns in retail or hobby, obviously, but hobby, you can get the exclusive young guns. You can get uh, plenty of other exclusive pulls and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to be guaranteed, as we cut that last seal there, we're going to be guaranteed um, a total of six young guns guaranteed in here. Um, I'll actually fold this back. You can get more, though, uh, because if you get an exclusive young gun, that does not count towards your quota of six, as well as a canvas young gun that also does not count towards your quota of six young guns. So I've actually pulled up to eight young guns out of this stuff before. I've gotten exclusive and a canvas out of these before. Um, so we'll see if we get any luck, guys. Um, and again, there's a lot of big rookies in this class. But for me, guys, I am looking for Leon Dreisaitl. I've never pulled it. Don't own one. Definitely want to get one. I like to pull it myself rather than you know, buy it because it's just a lot more fun to pull it yourself. Um, so yeah, guys, let's get into this and see what we got. So Travis Zajac, we'll fly through probably most of this stuff, guys. Ryan McDonough, uh, Alex Edwards, Stammer, Nate Gunnan, Blake Wheeler, Derek Stepan, and Alex Stolak. So we'll see what we get. And the Young Gun design, I will say for 1415 overall, both Series 1 and Series 2, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I'm really not. I mean, obviously, there are some huge rookies. i got to pull that off camera because I feel like I'm going to ding the corners of this card up. But uh, you can get some really you know, good young guns, but the design is just not the best, I feel, out of all the years um, of Upper Decks young guns designs and stuff. And you guys will see it when we get to these if you've never seen one before. But uh, we got Yuri Tlusti to start us off. Danny DeKaiser, Jacob Silverberg, who is uh, we're getting a little bit of card stickage now. Uh, all right, patches, and we got a hockey heroes, the 2000s, Marty St. Louis. So, there you go, Marty St. Louis. It's our first insert, Seth Jones, Hank Zetterberg, and uh, Jamie McKinn. So, be expecting some canvas cards out of here. Um, probably another, I'd say, at least another hockey heroes card, I would imagine. Um, I can't remember what was all going on at this time. I don't know if they have... What the heck is this? Guys, there's a sleeved up card in here. What on earth? I have never seen that before. 
I have absolutely no idea what the heck we have here, guys. I have never in my life pulled a sleeved up card of anything out of any upper deck, you know, base product, a series one or series two of any year. That could be a monster. I have absolutely no idea what the heck I got my hands on. I'm setting it down. We're going to save that for the end, guys, because I, I could be dead wrong. That could just be literally... I, I don't know what it could be, honestly. I can't even guess. Could be some type of crap card that's not worth much at all, and it's, maybe it's a common thing that I just don't know about, but I have never in my life seen that. we got a thick card here, so probably a jersey right off the bat in this pack now. Um, Corey Schneider, Vernon... Fiddler, and I'm going to be sidetracked probably the rest of this break thinking about that card. Kevin Shattenkirk, there's our game jersey. It's a nice one. Tyler Sagan, Tyler Sagan, cool, cool James uh, game jersey card there. Tyler Sagan, set that aside. Joffrey Lupel and Jonathan Quick. Holy smokes, this is going to be eating at me the rest of this break. What on earth? I've never in my life. Pulled a sleeved card out of upper deck. Anything. That is... That is very strange. Not a clue what the heck it is. Really not a clue. <sighs> Brad Boyce. Jonathan Bernier. Shane Doan. And my mind is just... The gears are turning right now. Because it's like, what in the heck could it be? I'm you know, just thinking radical stuff. Uh, and then we got the... Is this the Shining Stars? I can't even read it. It's Alex Steen. There we go. Shining stars. That was tough to read. Alex Dean, shining stars. Going to be the insert in that one. Alex Felina, Corey Crawford, Johnny T, Eric Cole. Um, you know, yeah. My mind is literally just like racing. It's like, is that sleeve card? An 0506 Sidney Crosby Young Guns? <laughs> you know, like randomly inserted or something like that. Or an Ovechka one's that, you know. I doubt it, but I'm just saying my mind's racing. <laughs> All right, Anton Beloff, Matt Duchesne, and I hope this video becomes epic when we pull whatever that card is. I really do, guys. Martin Hansel, and we got a Shining Stars Blue. Nice. Is that Nomen? We're just talking about him. It's a blue. Sid the Kid. Uh, those are not numbered, but that's the blue parallel, which is uh, a little bit harder, obviously, than the base one to pull, so that's a good card. We'll actually set that aside there. Vladdy Tarasenko, uh, Cody Eakin, Joel Ward, Matt Nieto. Oh, man. You're probably going to hear me talk about this card the rest of the break until we actually get to it. Because right now the Leon Dreisaitl is kind of secondary for me in my mind. Uh, Johan Franzen, Patrick Sharp, Carey Price. I can't believe we actually haven't even come to Young Guns yet unless we have one maybe here. No? Still no Young Guns. Tyler Johnson, Jay Bomeister, Wayne Simmons, Mike Green, Matt Cohn. So a base pack there. Still no young guns at this point, which is actually kind of surprising. I don't know if they bunch them all together, maybe in the center or towards the bottom. I have no idea. Uh, let's see, though. Pascal Dupuis, man, miss him. Duper, super duper. Andre Markov, Dennis Seidenberg. And canvas. Uh, Michael Grandma. So our first canvas card. Logan Couture, Dwight King, Andy McDonald, and Chris Higgins. And guys, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever pulled a card. We got our first Young Guns coming up here, it looks like. Well, let me know if you've ever pulled a sleeve card out of any of these upper deck things and what they've been, because I'm baffled. No matter what we pull out of this, I, even if it's something common, I just want to know how common it is. Because, I, like I said, I've never done this. I broke a lot of this stuff. First Young Guns, guys. Let's see. Chris Tierney. So there you go. There's that Young Guns design, though, that I was going to kind of tell you guys. It's almost like a barcode or something like that. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, you know, Probably one of my least favorite designs as far as the Young Guns go, but it's Chris Tierney, Young Guns is going to start us off as our first Young Guns. Gino, uh, new penguin right there, Colton Skivier. Got to get his name pronunciation done, Morgan Riley, because he is now a pen. All right, let's see. 
Claude Giroux. A little bit of card stickage again. I'm glad they got that sleeved up. If that's a big hit, I, I do appreciate that they sleeved it up. That's for sure. Troy Brower. Mike Fisher. Andre Pallott. Then we got a Young Guns. Brandon Cozen. So, Brandon Cozen. So, not a mammoth anything. Matt Reed. Jeff Skinner. Nick Felino. Two Young Guns down. All right, Brandon Dubinsky, Ryan Sutter, frickin' Brad, Christopher Stieg. Uh, one of those heroes again, Marty Brodeur for the 2000s. Set that with Marty St. Louis, a couple of Martys and those hockey heroes today. All right, let's see what we have here. Kyle Clutterbuck. Besides a whole lot of stickage. Ryan Garbutt. Right. I think we got a Young Guns coming up. I did not see who. Jeff Carter. Maybe we don't have a Young Guns. Ryan Ellis. No, it's a canvas, actually. Andre Kopitar. So there you go. You need a writer, Carl Soderberg and Marcus Kruger. Mm, let's see. Really gotta get my pack opening skills down for the amount of packs I open. I should be a better pack opener. I always get that top right corner to just never kind of give give in the way that it should. Oh, come on! All right, Ryan gets left. Uh, Tommy Wingles, Jacob Trubo. We do have a Young Guns, I think, right behind this Oli Mana, which is a really cool card. It is. I'm not gonna slow roll it. We'll just go and find Ryan Sprawl. So there you go, Ryan Sprawl's our third one. We've got JVR, Thomas Hickey, Rich Peverly. So halfway there with the Young Guns. All right. Darcy Kemper, Patrick Werber, uh, Jonas Enroth, who is stuck to Shining Stars, Ryan Getzlaff. Uh, Hampus Limholm, David Dayrene, Brian Campbell, Ryan O'Reilly. Man, imagine getting the dry side of Young Guns out of here, and then that sleeve card being, oh, I don't know, a Crosby autograph Young Guns that's sleeved up. How sick would that be? <laughs> I doubt that's happening, but I'm just saying. Alexander Barkov, Yuri Hoodler. Uh, come on, yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Do I have a redemption in here? God, I hope not. Your hoodler, Eric Carlson. No, I don't. Okay. I swear I saw so much white on this Young Guns. I thought it was a redemption of some type. But it is a Young Guns. It is. Christian Fullen. So we're not hitting any big Young Guns, that's for sure. Nick Bukestad, Justin Schultz, Brian Elliott. So a couple of former pens there. Freshly former pens, that is. Both of them, uh, you know, Schultzy. Signing with the Caps this year and uh, Bukestad being traded to some town Minnesota Wild. Oh man, we got some real stickage in these cards, uh, which really makes me appreciate if that's a big hit that they actually sleeve that up to take care of the card at least a little bit. Mark Letestu, Alexander Semen, uh, Jonas Brodin, we got a Shining Stars, Johnny T. I'm gonna guess that's going to do it for the Shining Stars because we've hit quite a bit of that. Travis Hamanick. Giordana, Andrew Ferentz. Get down to the bottom of this box. Again, we're expecting another two. Minimum of two Young Guns. Um, I think we're going to be doing at least another Canvas card still. RNH starts us off. Barrett Jackman. Of course, we got Stickage again. Holy moly. All right. Barrett Jackman. Eric Johnson. John Carlson. Redco Gudis. Kevin Biaxa, Jaden Schwartz, and Rick Nash. So base pack there. That happens sometimes in hobby. If you guys haven't figured that out by now. Much more prominent in retail, but it does happen in uh, in hobby. Uh, come on. I'm trying to get this like stickage all out of the way so we don't have to do this like card by card. And it's just whew. cards are sticking a lot more than I thought they would be. Josh Bailey, Tori Krug, Matt Carl, and Zach Cashin. There we go, Canvas, Patrice Bergeron. 
thinking that might be it for the canvases. Mike Richards, Yogs, and another former pen, Jack Johnson. Nothing against Jack personally, but I am definitely glad to see him go. I think the Rangers fans are going to be frustrated with him, but he's only signed for a year with them. But uh, he's definitely not the player that he used to be. Never really panned out the way he should. I feel bad for him, though, because of you know, basically what his parents did for him. If you don't know about that, Google that. Jeff Petrie, uh, Bobby Ryan, Ben Scrivens, and then we got, uh, is this canvas again? It is, Ryan Johansson. So uh, I guess I miscalculated the canvas cards. Clint Hammer, Cooney, Gallagher, David Krejci. So I'm going to say that we'll probably do actually one more canvas because I think there were five. So there must be six of them that we're due. Must have miscalculated that. Definitely do a couple more Young Guns, though, still. And we're definitely getting to the bottom of this box. Andrew Cogliano. Doggone it with this stickage. Oh, is that frustrating? Especially if you have, like, a really good card. You don't want the surface to be all screwed up and stuff. Tyler Ennis. Big buff. Pekka, Rennie. Uh, another base, I'm guessing. Milan Miguel. Yep. Jordan Eberle. Uh, Eric Goodbranson. Damian Brunner. So... Unless I'm missing something like that's stamped on the card, like a, uh, you know, I don't know, exclusive or something. We're really at the bottom of the box. Wow, guys, four packs. I'm just going to pull these four packs out and set them here. These are the bottom four packs of all four stacks. So two of these packs should contain a young gun. One pack should have probably a canvas. Another pack, uh, maybe another jersey card. That's my guess. And actually, yep, there we go, because this is a jersey card right here. So TJ Oshi, Derek Broussard, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Simeon Varlamov, and George LaRock. I can appreciate that, man. Cool dude for sure. Loved when he played for the Pens. Met him quite a few times at practices and games. Got some pictures with him and stuff. He's a really cool dude for sure. Like that a lot. Justin Falk, Jared Spurgeon. So down to three packs plus that pack that we set aside. With that, hopefully, mega hit of whatever the heck it might be, which I have no clue. Um, so I'm thinking, like I said, guys, canvas card, and uh, thinking a couple of young guns. I think that'll do it for these, and then we'll see what the heck the the hit is that's sleeved up. Uh, Marty St. Louis, Matt Irwin, Tyler Myers, Ben Smith, Ryan Johansson. What is going on here? Jeff Zakoff, Milan Lucic, and then our checklist. So, no. This is getting more and more interesting by the second. Two packs to go. What in the heck is going to be in here? That's going to be mammoth. If we come up one short with the Young Gun, that's going to really tell me that I think we got a monster in that sleeve that's Young Gun related. So, we'll see. I have no idea, though. I really don't. We're called the Infanuf. Marion Hosa, we got a Young Guns. Tyler Watherspoon. So we are not hitting anything big, which is really leading me to believe that we got a monster sitting here. Final pack, guys, before we get to that. And this should be a Young Gun. Uh, I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. This should be a Young Gun. If it's not a Young Gun in here, oh boy. Uh, we got some sick, sick potential. I mean, we have sick potential no matter what, but. Tells me we might have a young gun that's sleeved, which is really weird. Matt Cook, Eric Jonas, Alex Galchenyuk, Sergei Bobrovsky. Oh, we got another young gun. Okay, so no, it's not that. And it is Greg McKegg. So yikes, definitely. Tanner Pearson, Sean Monahan, and Kyle Turris. So not the best young guns, um, honestly. And actually, guys, I'm going to do the recap now, which is kind of weird before we do that unveil. So our six young guns, Greg McKegg. Tyler Watherspoon, uh, Christian Foline, Ryan Sprawl, Brandon Cousin, Chris Tierney. Chris Tierney is probably our best young gun in that stack. Uh, I'll show you the two game jersey cards I had set aside. Tyler Sagan and uh, George LaRock. Just basic game jersey cards. And then the other card that will sleeve up on good in the PC. The Sid. The Sid the Kid, Shining Stars, Blue Parallel. Um, not numbered or anything, but it's the Blue Parallel. Those are the hits of the box so far so far because we've saved the best for last i hope i have absolutely no flipping idea what we have here i'm gonna try let's see i'm gonna pull it this way all right so that hit is gonna be at the bottom of this 
It'll be the last card of the break. So Kyle Palmieri, Zemgus Gargensons, Mark Scheifele, uh, Philip Forsberg. Boy, am I getting nervous. Paul Martin. Oh, mama. <sighs> Paul Martin is stuck to somebody. I'm trying not to reveal that last card. Mike Smith. All right, guys. Here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. Left wing, Dave Chazowski. What on earth is this? There's a checklist that was stuck to it. Dave Chazowski. What on earth? 20 of 25. 25th anniversary. Ouch. <laughs> oh, that was a big build up for not much at all. Yikes. Uh, 25th anniversary, hand numbered 2025. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't even really need to elaborate on that or say much more than uh, what you guys are seeing there. Um, Let's see what the odds are maybe on that. I'm going to pull up the box really, really quickly for you guys because I'm curious. What the heck is that? So 25th anniversary cards. Number to 25. Let's see here. Piece of history patch. Blah, 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 blah. If I don't find this quickly, you guys are probably seeing it, and I can't even see it right now, but um, take it with a cup. Honestly, guys, I don't even see it listed on here. I mean, it probably is, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it, guys. So I have no idea. Um, you know, Definitely got a little skunk there. Uh, overall, that box was definitely, now that we saw what that hit was, it was sleeved up. Not the best, uh, for sure. Uh, I'm going to say the most valuable card of this entire box, believe it or not, is my Sid, the kid, Shining Stars Blue Parallel. Um, that's the hit of the box for me, at least, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the description. Uh, and again, if you guys have ever come across this, because I have not. I've pulled these you know, update cards and stuff, and like these anniversary cards and stuff like that, and I pulled one ones like that. They'd never been sleeved, honestly. Uh, it's the first time I pulled it was sleeved. Um, so, yeah, guys, I have no idea. Uh, either way, please do me a favor. Leave a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this Turn Back Tuesday. Uh, the suspense was there, just not the end product. Um, as always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address as well as a mailing address if you guys would ever need to reach out to me. But other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at, and we will see you guys next time.